Hello, my Cancerian friends. This is going to be your reading for the month ahead. And um, we'll just do a basic Celtic cross. Then we'll do a question and a few other cards after that. OK, so welcome to the Tarot Knows, those who are new to the channel. And we'll jump right in. The Ten of Cups. OK, that's wonderful. We have a family card coming right out here. Uh, we have two children and this is actually a beautiful card. It's love, emotions, everything that goes with the cups. If you're not around a family at the moment or if this is your family, there's going to be a very big family event coming up. Now that could be over the holidays, but I see this as being the whole focus is going to be around family. The world, there could be travel here. There could be people coming home for the holidays. Maybe people you haven't seen. We've three here. It could be three years since you've seen them because of lockdown. But these are two really, really nice cards to be at the start of the reading. We've the world twice. That's incredible. Now, this card is unique. or This deck is unique because it has doubles of the major, some of the major arcana. Because some of them are clothed and some of them are naked. So you can make the choice that um, which one to use. Now, I like to keep them in because I think it really drives home a situation or a topic or whatever. We have two worlds here. There is definitely travel. A lot of people traveling home or you traveling to, to reunite with a the family. There's a reunion here, a family reunion here that you're all going to be together again and it's been three years since you've seen these people so what else have we got here i forgot to start my timer i don't want to go too long on these the star in the past gosh this is a really really nice reading you were all together you were fated to be together in the past it's destiny and everything that's to do with the universe and fate and all of that. Ace of Cups. Oh, there's so much love here. Wow. These are people or, you know, these are people that you love so, so much. And this this could also be a reunion now with a loved one. And it could also be this can also be the birth of a child. So you're all coming together for this event and it's just going to be amazing. There's just love surrounding this whole reading. There has been, a, you know, there's been a very worrying situation for you. And it still may be there. It may be something to conquer. And, and it could be because of the lockdown. This is something that has hit people so hard. Um, and it can also be that when you know when you've had a reunion like this, it's always hard to break away afterwards. But this is a minor arcana card, so this will pass. This is something you can manage. Travel again. This is unbelievable. OK, this is right beside, you know, you've gone from this into this, which is the card of the self. You've definitely had a very dark period. In your life and it could be to do that you're missing all these people or that you have not had intimate love in your life as well um but this is coming right it's coming right with travel though you're moving out of the stormy waters into the calm so there's so much travel here it's unbelievable and we've three again on this card it is number six but we've three people so this could be three key people it could be Husband, wife, children. And actually the very first card was the two children and the couple. So it could be that you're meeting up with your spouse, soulmate and your children again. Or they could be coming to you. Um. Wow, there we go. Page of Pentacles, definitely. Now this can be somebody who's in, who's studying, the scholar. Um. The Page of Pentacles is very clever, very, very slow, sort of slow, steady wins the race, methodical, um, doesn't rush into decisions or anything like that, uh, but very intelligent. And it's also good news about money and it could be a baby because of the Ace of Cups here. 
definitely a child and family here. Seven of Swords. Okay, this is something you need to be aware of. There's somebody very sneaky here. But this, I could nearly see this as because of the travel restrictions we have in place at the moment, that it might be a situation that you have to sort of sneak into the into the country somehow. And I don't mean do anything illegal. I just mean it could be or you might be not telling somebody you're going away or it could be a case of just keep quiet to a certain extent because maybe not everybody's had their jabs, you know, something like that. But the rest of this reading is so incredibly good. Normally, the Seven of Swords is, is not a good card, but it's the card of sort of theft. So obviously, if you're traveling, be careful. Something doesn't get stolen on you. But I, the rest of the cards being so positive outweigh any of this. Yeah, good judgments. Go for it. Absolutely go for it. Go for this travel. With a bang. You couldn't have had more solid cards here. Family, two worlds, travel here. There could be a baby here. I'm feeling a, a birth of a boy. Okay. So whatever you do, you the judgment here anyway, and that's a major arcana card. So whatever you decide to do is going to be the right decision because it's governed by fate. So we'll do your questions. So if you want to meditate on the cards now, please do. You can, or sorry, if you if you want to meditate on your question now, you can pause the video and I'll pull three cards and we'll see if it's a yes or no. Oh, lovely. Well, this is a yes so far. Absolutely, yes. This is fabulous. This reinforces the judgment here. Whatever you decide to do, you may be thinking, oh, I shouldn't travel because of this, that and the other, you know, because of the virus and all the rest. Absolutely not. Go for it. You have two of these cards here, judgment and justice. It will all work out really well. It's governed by fate. Now, the only thing is here, you have a whole load of choices rattling around in your head and you're thinking, oh, well, I should, could do this, do that or whatever. There's one very, very obvious choice here right in front of your nose. And that is the choice that you will come to, the decision you will come to. Now, it may not be obvious now and you are, you know, thinking of other ideas, but this is going to when something comes into your head. Oh, maybe I should do this. Oh, that's the answer. That sort of thing. Go with it because that's the obvious choice. And then, as I said, justice here is fantastic. Things going in your favor. And then seven of pentacles here. You know, you're standing still a bit on this decision. You're struggling with the choice. So, again, I can't emphasize this enough. Go for the travel. It's going to work out as it's meant to, because you've two major arcana cards here. We have more. You've three, four, five. <laughs> So it's going to work out for the best. Whatever you decide to do, it's meant to happen. So I'm going to pull a few different random, well, not random cards here, but I'm going to pull an angel card. Truth and integrity. But that completely cancels out the Seven of Swords here. So if there's any underlying problems or sneaking around or anything like that, don't worry about it. The truth will always come out. We'll see what your crystal is. As you're right, get laser focused. Now, that's amazing because that actually reinforces this card. You need to focus on one thing. 
And you know, if you're struggling with that decision, I the next card I'm going to pull is the card you should meditate on to get the answers you want. This is the Shaman's Dream Oracle deck. Uh, there's links to all the decks I use in the description. So, mindful group think that's an absolutely beautiful card. Number 40. So I'll hold this up a bit to the camera. If you have any problems coming to your decision, talk to people about it. But it's saying here your mind is full. And this again, sorry to reiterate, but this is where you're rattling around with different decisions and you can't come to the right one. So your mind is full of different options. This is meditate on this card or just meditate in whatever you, way you choose to. But you should find the answers within yourself to this problem that you have here. The group think and discuss it with other people too. decide on it as a group, see what other people want to do. OK, I'm going to leave it at that for now. Please like, subscribe, share, ding the bell and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.